Have you recently purchased a new drone and you're having issues getting it to connect via Wi-Fi when you're doing your initial setup? There is um, a way that you can download the firmware directly from your computer to your drone or to the remote controller. You use the DJI Assistant 2. So the purpose of this video is to show you where to go to find it and then how to do an actual firmware update on your drone using the DJI Assistant 2. What you'll do is you'll go to the DJI website. You can go find your drone. I'll go to the very beginning. Go to the main DJI website. Don't use the DJI store site. And then once you're on here, look for whichever model of drone that you have. I'm going to do this example with the Spark because I just got the new DJI um, Line Friends Spark, which since we're talking about it, I'll show you. It looks like this. It's the brown one with the bear. Um, more than likely, they're probably going to come out with that bunny rabbit one next. But I just purchased this and I need to do the firmware update. I haven't even had a chance to fly it yet. So what we're going to do now is go over to downloads. And then it took me to spark downloads to get the DJI assistant to onto your laptop or desktop. And remember, this is in lieu of using the DJI go Four app because we're having Wi-Fi issues. We can't get the firmware to update via Wi-Fi You can just plug your drone or controller directly into your computer. So you go here, DJI Assistant 2. If you have a, uh, if you don't, if you have an Apple, a Mac, you can go here. If not, you'll go here and then open up the zip file or the DMG if you have an Apple. And then once you have that opened up, it will start the download process to put the DJI Go, the DJI Assistant 2 onto your computer. So I've already clicked a few buttons here. Gonna accept the agreement. Create a desktop shortcut. Now it is starting this to set up the DJI Assistant 2 onto the computer. Now the reason that I decided to do it this way is because the Wi-Fi is, it can be intermittent in my house and with my Phantom 4 Pro, I was able to get everything. I was able to get the um, drone connected initially with my Wi-Fi, but I was not able to do any of the firmware updates. Um, so I gave in gave up. I just started looking at some YouTube videos and found that I could do the firmware update using the Assistant 2. So I plugged my uh, Phantom 4 directly into the computer using a a cable, USB cable, and was able to do the firmware, firmware update on that with the Assistant 2. So that's why I'm doing it with the Spark. When I went to go uh, fly it just now, it told me, you know, I got it all connected. It was all good to go. And then we had to come back inside because I couldn't get the firmware update to work just using my Wi-Fi. All right, would you like to install this device software? Install. And finish. I'm sure we are putting a lot of Chinese hacker cyber viruses onto my computer right now. Going to minimize everything so I can see where it went. All right, it is coming online now. And it's showing you, I don't know if you can see this, but the DJI Assistant window just popped up and it is showing me to connect the USB from, uh, from the aircraft into the computer. And 
it is also asking me to log into my account. Okay, so now after you log in to the DJI Assistant 2 using your login and password, and you connect the USB cable to the aircraft and the computer so that they're both connected, it will identify what type it is. And so in that case, it brought up Spark for me because I have my Spark connected. So you go here and click on that. And it's gonna give you the options here of firmware update, data upload, black box simulator, or Wi-Fi settings. So it's telling me we need to update the no-fly zone database, confirm update. And they do tell you before you start doing any type of firmware updates that you make sure your controller and your drone batteries are at least 50% charged. I think the warning it gives you is 30%, but just be safe and make sure it's at least 50% because it could take about 10 minutes. All right, this page is gonna show all of the updates that have been accomplished so far. You can also get on here and restore factory defaults. If the uh, firmware update that you did um, turns out it's having a lot of issues, I know some guys will go back, they will undo that firmware update and take it back to an older version. And here is where it shows that it's current as of July 19th, when the uh, firmware update was released. While we're in the DJI Assistant 2, let's go check out some other features. You may upload your device information and flight data. Going to the data upload page will change the DJI device status. It may lead to the unavailability of some functions. Restart the device to restore. Um, I don't have any data on this drone to upload yet. It has not flown a single flight yet because it wouldn't let me due to that firmware update. Black box, it's going to let you save it here. That's just your flight information from the drone. Then we have simulator, simulator light. It's a virtual 3D environment from flight data transmitted to the PC. Uh, it says to remove the props, to avoid injuries, don't touch the motors, check and reset the settings in the DJI Go app after using the simulator, and the no-fly zone limit is not effective in the simulator. And here is our Wi-Fi settings, which I'm not going to show you any more of that. All right, now let's see if we can update the controller. So I'm gonna uh, disconnect the drone, turn it off, and then plug in my RC controller. Um, that is all I have for this lesson. Feel free to watch other YouTube videos and find out more details about updating your DJI drone with your DJI Assistant 2 app. This is what it looks like when your Spark is connected to your PC with the USB cable. And you can do the firmware update with the DJI Assistant 2 app that way. And you can also use either Wi-Fi or the same USB cable and DJI Assistant 2 app to do the firmware update for your remote, con for your remote controller here. I just got done doing this with Wi-Fi. It says, update complete, manually restart your remote controller. Hit okay.
All right, everything should be good now. We're gonna go outside and fly this for the first time. Do it how I did the first time. Don't press that. Don't. Why? Okay. Okay. I know we're sideways. at the next door. No, like sideways. No, not that way. Are you sure? Yes. No sound. That way. Oh, hot. Good. You I know it's burning. 